So, I wanted to just kind of explain a little bit about my command center. Let me step back a little bit so y'all can see everything. So, I did do a video on this before. I've already, it's Friday, so I've already erased this for next week and to prepare the kids' meal plan. And then this is how me and my husband communicate as far as things is going on with in our household, stuff like that. And then him working and overtime and any car maintenance, he sees this because he comes to get his key every morning. So it's like a little system right here, right? Right here, if he wants to step in and do stuff, he doesn't even have to ask. He's already knowing what what's going on as far as like cleaning, my cleaning schedule and stuff like that. So that is what that's for. Now, if for any reason, and that's what this paper is right here. So it has everything written down, I wrote it down, and that's that, right? So here I put my cleaning schedule and all of that. That's my way of communicating with him. So again, he knows what it is that I'm doing per day. And if he wants to, he can come in, step in and help or whatever, right? Without asking. And ladies also, let me just say this. You don't have to necessarily be married. This is just my system. This helps me and my husband and it just helps. The household gets ran a lot smoothly versus having to write stuff down but I'm cleaning up every single day, if that makes sense. It's just right here <laughs> on the dry erase board. And this is my system. So I tend to those specific areas every day on those days and do those things. And I just make sure whatever it is for that area gets done. And that's it. And if it doesn't need to be fixed, if it's not broken, I don't fix it, right? Y'all get me? So that's what this is all about, y'all. This is a simple system. I'm not having to rewrite stuff all the time now i do plan on framing their routine or uh oh sorry guys framing their their schedule so i'm gonna redo this without all of that and i'm gonna frame it so it looks a little cohesive with everything but i went on and put it right here and this is a little schedule for them during the day, all day. And that way my husband sees it as well so that way they're not they're not getting something different with him. He, they know what to expect because this is what I follow and this is what he can follow, right? So that's what it's looking like for me. The part, another part of my system I use is this big calendar right here. And I use sticky notes for it, so just in case things change. But I also will take some of those sticky notes off and put them right here as a little system of like I'm working on it and uh, it works pretty well for me y'all honestly and then just little positive things right here so i just got like, a little system right here and that's for my social media now when it comes to my workout mental self-care all of that stuff for me to just see it every single day i put it on this dry erase board and so it's something that i can see because my workout equipment is right here underneath it so all I have to do is just come up here and see what I'm doing for that specific day. And it just makes it super easy. I don't have to keep rewriting stuff. Now I will say this, I do have my notebook right here and like this little mini planner that I use. A couple of stickers, y'all. <laughs> my little notebook to just kind of things I jot down that I learn when it comes to my fitness, my health, mental, all that. And then this just to track it. But I have been using, I have been using like a watch a lot. So I will come back like either like end of the week, y'all, to be honest, and just come date this. Just in case like my watch dies or something like that. So I do have that as backup. But that's why I love the Purposeful Woman Planner because it's not something that is not meant to have to rewrite stuff and just take up so much time planning. And that's how I've been doing it honestly by the mid of this year till i'm still using it this way i love it it's been working and so i honestly recommend that you guys come up with something that works for you now i have cut my planning time i can't even i'm talking about hours <laughs> because i'm not constantly rewriting this stuff every single day if that makes sense and so these are things that, yeah, that I want to focus on for a month, for the weeks, whatever. And then all I have to do is just erase it and 
rewrite it but it's not something that i have to like necessarily like rewrite every single day if that makes sense not like that and then my husband y'all he wrote this for me so i just instead of rewriting it again what i do is just so i can see it bigger i wrote it big right here but then right here all i know is just like oh come look at this stuff and then instead of rewriting it so that's what i've been focusing on just being more purposeful and intentional with my planning even and not spending so much time planning and not doing so that's where i'm at with that but i just wanted to just tell you guys like my little system so this is my wellness my fitness this is my health overall and then coming over here this is work related social media stuff like that and then you guys have seen my faith journal and all of that stuff so it's super simple now it's not like tons and tons of things just like everywhere <laughs> so that's it guys so y'all honestly i think it took some trial and error but that's why i this is how i got here because of the purpose for planner i'm not even gonna lie to y'all a, a lot of prayer and a lot of trying to figure out my routines and just i had to reflect a lot and see what was causing what needed to what i needed to take away what needed to be done and i'm not gonna lie you have to put work in at first but it is so worth it i almost fail y'all <laughs> but it is so worth it because you're not having to just feel like you're on this hamster wheel all of the time and that's what i was trying to get off of i wanted to get off of that i didn't want to feel like oh i'm doing 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 all week Come Sunday, Saturday and Sunday, I'm still doing. I want to actually feel refreshed and relaxed and I have to do, do, do come Sunday through Saturday. I, I got off of that wheel real quick. So that's a little bit, a little glimpse of how I, ha like what I do, what's been working for me. Honestly, it's been working and I love this little routine. But if you guys have any questions or anything like that, drop them in the comments. If you guys have any videos you guys would like to see or, or you want me to go in depth about something, let me know. Like, Y'all never feel afraid to ask or suggest something as long as it line with what the Purposeful Woman is about. I don't mind at all because that's what I'm here for. I'm here to inspire you guys, uplift you guys, educate you guys, motivate you guys, keep you guys accountable. Y'all keep me accountable. This is a sisterhood. This is a community. So that's why I've gotten to the point where I'm just like, I don't want to just show up on camera any kind of way, if that makes sense. But I'm not about to sit behind a desk and talk to y'all all the time. But I got burnt out on doing it. That's just not even my personality. I want you guys to make sure that you know that you're watching it. You're getting valuable stuff. You're getting a real person just like you. Also, things that I've learned along the way and things that are working for me. I would love to share that with y'all. I would love to give you guys some insight, help y'all in any way that I can, create for y'all. If you know me for a little while, y'all know. <laughs> but anyways, I'm almost done, y'all. No more laundry. I have, well, let me scratch that back. Technically, right, because my laundry day is on Monday. So, I'm gonna get ahead of myself, though. Because I'm feeling really ambitious, I'm gonna go ahead. I literally have no more laundry, though as far as that goes now i typically like my my basket of clothes kids don't have any more laundry you don't have any more laundry i would be getting ahead of myself if i go ahead and wash my clothes that i have that's already accumulated versus waiting until monday to do it i'm thinking about doing it not really a hundred percent sure about that but if i don't like i would so if i don't do it right now or today i would only have two loads of laundry to do come monday that's it Till the following next Monday. That's it. This is where I, I'm at, y'all. <laughs> Took me some time to get here, but that's where I'm at. Because everything is clean besides, again, like I said, just the blankets. Because I always refresh them. I always refresh them. I love a good, clean, smelly, fluffy, good blanket to lay and cuddle with. So I'm about to refresh those. But other than that, y'all, the kids' bedding is good. Our bedding is good. Everything's good. So that's how I've been navigating this season that i'm in with two under three <laughs> so that's how i've been navigating that while staying consistent in my in my faith but also making sure that i pri prioritize my well-being doing pilates exercising getting my walk in stuff like that making sure i read my books and complete them finishing different courses that i take just for my own sake any area that i'm struggling in or i would like to know more about or if it's, a, if it's a skill that I would like to develop 
I invest in that type of stuff so that way I'm learning and I'm because I love to learn y'all I'm like a a very they say low-key but I'm a low-key little nerd I love to read I love to learn I'm like a little sponge <laughs> so I do things like that but in order for you to get to that place you do have to make sure that you come up with some type of routine in a system that'll be suitable for you so y'all just wanted to just kind of drop in and share this as well <laughs> so i pray that it was insight you gave you some insight and also motivated you to do the same and don't forget to pray plan and produce and i'll see you guys in the next video bye <laughs>